Hi, my name is Danny Marie. I am a beauty consultant with Walgreens in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I am here today on behalf of Walgreens to show you Contouring 101 for trans women. Let's get started. On my face right now, I have my base products laid down. So primer, foundation, concealer, and powder. If you haven't checked out my previous tutorial on color correcting, make sure that you go and check out that tutorial prior to coming to this one. That way you have an idea of how to approach your complexion products, as well as learn how to color correct any kind of five o'clock shadow that you might have on the face. But there are many different ways that you can contour your face, and this seems to be more of an ever-evolving kind of technique as time goes on. You can utilize cream products such as concealers or foundations, or you can use powder products such as powder foundation, bronzer, or more specifically contour powders. Basically many different types of products can be used as a contour, but the thing to keep in mind is that the technique is always going to be the same. You're basically accentuating or altering the shape of the face with a complexion product that is a little bit deeper in tone than the person's skin. And this is meant to enhance the shape of the face, including certain parts such as the cheekbones. Or for my fellow trans girls out there, it's meant to achieve a more feminine shape to the face. Think of contouring kind of like the same way that you would drawing. You're going in and adding more dimension by shading parts in on the face with your contour products to give it more of a dimensional look. Always remember that adding depth to the face gives those parts of the face the appearance of receding or being pushed back, while highlighting certain parts of the face gives it the illusion of coming forth. So contouring is definitely like an art form in and of itself. <laughs> also equally important are the tools that you will need to contour with. For example, I will be using one of my favorite contour brushes in the drugstore, which is the Kumidori Contour and Highlight Brush from Japanese. We actually sell this brush on the Walgreens website and in certain stores. This brush is probably the best $13 you will ever spend. The shape of the brush is more pointed so you can really get into the hollows of the cheekbone and really carve them out. Or you can use the side of the brush to apply any kind of blush product or even the tip of the brush you can do precision highlighting with. Another reason why I love this brush is it does not look like your typical makeup brush. The way that this brush was created to look is really kind of a throwback to the Japanese art form of brush making, which has been like a tradition that has spanned thousands of years. And the word for brush in Japanese is fude. So with all of that said, I'm gonna get started. The first step, and the most critical and important in this tutorial is to take a sip of your coffee. And then I'm going to go into a bronzer to contour my face with. This is the Natural Bronzer from Rimmel in the shade 021 Sunlight. And as you can see, it is well loved. And then with my brush, I'm just gonna go in and swirl in the powder. And then I am going to start by placing that product towards the back part of my cheekbone. Now, if you don't know where to place the product, you can always just feel the bone structure of your face. And the underneath side of your cheekbone is where you wanna place this product. So I'm just gonna start further back, and then I will start to bring that brush closer in to the face. Now, you don't wanna to go too far in, my rule of thumb is to just stop the contour at the edge of the eye. So right about right here is where you want that contour to stop. And I like a pretty strong contour. <laughs> I like my cheekbones to pop. So I'm just going in and adding some more. And this brush is so nice. It is just the softest thing. It literally feels just like a little bunny pop on your face and I'm hitting up the perimeter of my forehead too. This is a really great way to give the illusion of a smaller forehead. I personally think that I have a five head. 
it's not just a forehead it's a five head so I just take my my contour and just cover that up a little bit and already you can see we're really creating dimension in the face and you want to do this because just having like concealer foundation and powder alone on the face really flattens the face so you want to go back in and you want to kind of zhuzh it you want to give it some love you want to you know create more dimension on that blank canvas oh and also something that's really important to note too is not everybody's face is the same shape so you really want to figure out what shape your face is and also how to apply the contour to certain parts of the face to give it that more feminine kind of softer appearance and there are plenty of resources online that show you different examples of face shapes my face shape is an oval Okay, we're getting there. You see that contour happening right here. For my trans girls out there who have really strong jaw lines and really want to help minimize the severity of like a strong jaw line, place the contour just below your jaw line and it will help soften it. So for example, like me, I have a little bit of a strong jaw line. And I just like to take that contour and almost use it as like a magic eraser. And you know, just soften that jawline out. And then always take your contour down the neck. And this is really useful too if you have an Eve's apple, as my best friend calls it. So you can also put a little bit of contour right there to push that further back and give the illusion of more of a streamlined softer neck i really like to do my chin too basically i'm just michelangelo and i'm sculpting the crap out of my face but the end result is really cute now if you like a softer contour, you can totally stop here. But if you really want to amp it up and chisel out those cheekbones, go in with a smaller brush. I have the Wet n Wild P75, and you can really pinpoint where you want to place that contour slash bronzer, bronze tour, <laughs> and really chisel that face. Another tip for you, if you like a really strong contour and you want to really maximize on that impact that contouring your face can have, take a regular face powder, preferably one that has a little bit of coverage to it. And what you're going to do is you are going to place that right below your contour. And this will clean up your contour as well so that you're left with more of a pronounced contour there. You always want to make sure that you blend the products and make them look as soft as possible. Oh and this brush by the way is a precision highlight brush from Eco Tools. And if you want to contour your nose feel free to do so. I usually just take a little bit of that powder on my brush and I just lightly sweep the sides of my nose. And then now we will go into blush. This is my favorite blush ever. It is Luminoso by Milani. And then we're going to go in with highlighter. I have the Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter from Revlon. And this is in the shade 201. And with this, I'm just going to hit the top portion of the cheekbone. This is a really blindy highlighter. So if you like to glow, this is going to be for you. The really cool thing is, is you can always use highlighter too as eyeshadow. So do it up. And then what I like to do at the very end is just take a little bit of face powder on a buffing brush and I really just like to go over the whole face and really merge everything together. This is going to ensure that everything is going to look really natural and blended. And if you get a little too crazy putting on the highlight, it'll kind of tone it down, which I usually do. 
All right, so I'm gonna go apply some mascara and some lips and I'll be right back. <laughs> pose, pose, pose. <laughs> but you get the gist. So this is the final look, you guys. This is basically like my everyday look. But I hope you found this useful. I hope you found it helpful. Again, I hope everybody has a happy pride. Thank you again to Walgreens for having me on here and allowing me to tell my story. Bye!